What's up? Hey guys, it's Yvonne. In this video, I want to complete our AdWords function series by telling you about the Google if function, which basically allows you to alter the text in your ads depending on whether the users are coming from a mobile device or desktop device and depending on which particular remarketing audience is looking at those ads. So let's dive in and let me show you what I mean. So over here, by the way, you see we have the keyword insertion uh, function, which we went over in one of the previous videos, and the countdown function. If you're interested in those, take a look at the links up above. I will attach those. But let's go into this new one here. So again, we'll be working with our Sears uh, campaign. And here, I already have an example of this if function. Again, you don't have to manually type it in. It is automatic, and it is very quick and easy. So let me give you an example of how this could benefit you. Let's suppose you have a special promotion for your product that gives people that are purchasing from a mobile device a 20% discount. Now, how do you how do you show that discount to people only from uh, only from the mobile apps? What you could do is you could create different sets of ads. You could create some ads shown only to mobile users and have those say 20% off, and the other ads you could have sh show to desktop users. Or you could make life easier for yourself. And you can make everything show all in one ad. And that's exactly what this if function does. So let's let's illustrate. Like I said, what I will do is I will click shift and this squiggly bracket again. And I will select the if function. And let's start off with the device. So if the device is mobile, you could say, for example, get it for 20% off, something like that. And if it's not mobile, which means if it's only desktop, then it will say, you know, get it for maybe 10% off or whatever it is you have, or maybe not even not even a discount. Uh, get it today while it lasts, right? You get the idea. And let's take a look at the preview really quickly. On mobile, it's going to say get it for 20% off. And on desktop, it will say get it today while it lasts. Okay, that's desktop. And this is mobile. That is it. So it's that easy. It's that simple, but it's that effective. You don't have to make two different sets of ads. The other useful benefit here is let's go into headline two. And again, we will pull up this if function. You can also select an audience. Now, in this particular account, I don't have any audiences. But if you would, after you click on this button, it will pull up a list of audiences. And from this list of audiences, you can select what message you want to cater to each. So also notice it says is one of, which means you can select a bunch of different audiences. For example, people that abandoned the cart or people that went to the sales page and then they just exited out. You could target those people. And for example, what I could do if you click on the link up above um, in one of the videos in my playlist, I show you how to create a remarketing list. If you do that, you should have a remarketing list here. And then you can select it. And let's say, for example, you select a list of people that abandoned the cart. Well, you could say, hey, if the audience is one of people that abandoned cart, then let's say, get it today for 30% off quick or something like that. And if it's not, then maybe um, get a free trial now. So do you see how useful it is? You're targeting specific audiences. For people that have never been, have never visited your page, you're saying try, get a free trial. But for people that already tried the trial and abandoned that product in their cart before buying, you will say get it today for 30% off. Now, like I said, in this particular um, um, account, I don't have any audiences, but uh, so, so I can't really uh, save and apply here. But if you would, you would just select the audience. It, it would give you a big list down here. You would just check off the ones that you want added. Uh, and then they're added and you click on apply and that's it, right? Over here, I can't click on apply. It's not going to work, but that's what it would look like. And then over here, that's what it would show. So whatever we wrote here, right? Hey, get it for 30% off and get a free trial. That's what would show in the preview. So that's pretty much it. It's really quick, really straightforward, but I did want to finish off this series with this last uh, function from Google AdWords, which is very useful for you. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, feel free to leave them down below. I'll be more than happy to help you out. I try to be as responsive as I can on my YouTube channel and my Facebook group. If you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe. I cover a lot of different online marketing tools, tips, tricks, reviews, how to's, etc., etc. Otherwise, thank you for watching. I will see you in the next video.